All right, music fans, welcome back to the Real Music Observer. It's Dave, observing real music in real time for real people, just like you right there, and me right here. Yeah, have you ever heard of the band Koinonia? Uh, you probably haven't, and this is what I would consider to be a radical departure from some of the things I've been talking about. Koinonia was a band from the 70s and 80s. They did a lot of jazz fusion stuff, and they're pretty good uh they're really good actually uh these guys know how to play their instruments and in 1989 uh they released a self-titled album just called koinonia by the way the word koinonia denotes some kind of christian fellowship and no i didn't do this on purpose the video just happened to go there because that's what the word means in case you never heard the word before it's k-o-i N-O-N-I-A. Now, this band in 1989, I think, sounds a lot like Chicago jazzed up a bit. Uh, Chicago at the time, they had Bill Champlin singing, and uh, he had a chart-topping song called Look Away, a tune that was written for him by Diane Warren, and uh, she was really hot as a songwriter at the time. A lot of her tunes were going up the charts. I believe Bad English, When I See You Smile, was also Diane Warren. Of course, I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, you can correct me, just don't, you know, don't go overboard. Um, so anyway, this band has a guy by the name of Lou Pardini, who is now singing with the band Chicago. So I think it's really interesting, when I hear this guy sing in this particular band with these types of arrangements uh, on these songs, you think to yourself, who marketed this band? I mean, this could have been a side-by-side -side confusion thing. Throw this on the radio next to Look Away or You're Not Alone. It's got a little more of a funky edge to it. And maybe format-wise, it doesn't, doesn't work on Top 40. But the more I hear it, the more I think to myself, yeah, it, it, it might have worked. It's just really good music. Uh, the tunes I really dig, if you want to check this album out, came in, came out in 1989. Uh, Let's Talk About It, which i um, kind of playing right now. Uh, and then he's got a smooth ballad on here. It's uh, We Know the Way by Heart. It's also another great tune, It's Too Late. Uh, very, very good arrangement on that. Very much a power ballad kind of song almost like look away believe it or not when i first started to hear it i heard elements of that um, we can last forever which was another popular song by chicago at the time and lou pardini by the way what i like about lou uh what i didn't like about bill champlin is what i like about lou lou sings lou sings the songs he doesn't try to scat he doesn't try to phrase where he reinvents syllables and stretches words or shortens them up or doesn't sing them at all. <laughs> I'm just, I know, I'm fussy, right? I'm, I'm one of these judgmental guys that when I hear a vocalist, I kind of want him to sing the dang song. So I would check out this album. A lot of the other stuff on the album is smooth jazz oriented. Um, We're All In This Together is another tune I really, really like a lot. But um, there are some instrumental songs on here. Lynn, Mistrial, Allegria, and You Are My Love really could be all over smooth jazz radio. And my bet is, at the time it probably was, that was a format that was kind of on the rise. But Koinonia, if you like Chicago, just, I don't know about their other albums, this 1989 album is pretty groovy, man. It's, it's got some hooks. And if you're a West Coast AOR fan, you're going to dig it. And Lou Pardini, he is just smooth as silk. By the way, Lou Pardini is the guy that wrote Just to See Her, the Smokey Robinson hit. Um, pretty amazing song and a, and a great lyricist. In addition to having some really good pipes, Lou Pardini. Check this out. I think you'll like it. If you don't, you know, next video might be better for you. I'm Dave, and we'll chat again soon.